close friend and roommate from school, right? The very same. Oh, it's a blessed day indeed. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Same here. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll leave you here. Um, okay, come on. Yeah. Girl, your husband is a nice man. I guess. Come on now, don't be too modest. It's quite a cat. I guess unfortunate then. <laughs> you can say that again. great movies these days. Yeah, but this one particularly reminds me of my marriage. Was your husband that mean? He's a, he's, he's a good man. We, we're just a bad match. How so? <laughs> two, two good people can actually bring the worst out of each other. That was us. Was he abusive? <laughs> no. He was just too controlling and I like a, a bit of independence. But I don't see how that can lead to a divorce. Ah, sweetheart. He's, he's a control freak. I must do everything exactly as he wants it. Oh, that's serious. <laughs> he never allows me to use my brain, my dear. Even a slave get to use his initiative. It was stifling. I had to get up for... Hmm. So, are you happy now? Um, I, I miss his company, but I'm happy. I am no longer a slave to, to anyone. Hmm. Good thing you're still young and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Men will fall over themselves just to have you. Please. So, I see you and um, your husband. You're a perfect match. I don't believe anything about human being is perfect. We have our ups and downs. No. You guys don't uh, strike me like a, a couple who have an argument. Oh, we do. At times, we scream so loud that I fear the roof will just rip off. 
You don't say. So tell me, what do you guys argue about? Many things. Like? We've had episodes which to this moment are sore points with us. One, he never spends enough time with me as he used to. What's the second? He takes crazy advice from his friends and the thing just drives me mad. Where does your husband spend his time if not with his wife? With his friends, I guess. You guess. I don't follow him around, but I'm pretty sure. Of. Um, I've had that experience with my husband too, but I later discovered it wasn't all his time he spent with his friends. Where did he spend the rest? <laughs> with a girl. You don't say. This is most devastating. Well, men are like that. My husband is not a womanizer. I can say that in good confidence. Really? You look like you don't believe me. I just don't believe men. You know, he needs to unwind after work and he does that with his friends at the pub. Does he, does he do that every day without fail? Mostly. <laughs> I like your trust, dear. What has trust got to do with anything? I should also be important enough for him to spend time with me. At least he should spend three days out of a week with me. Is that too demanding? Not really. Mm -hmm. But what about his beer? Beer is a good relaxant for men. He can stock the fridge up with them and drink when he's even at home with me. If it doesn't bother you, fine. People are different. It does bother me and that's why we quarrel. <laughs> oh, if he was the homely type, how would he feel when you always go out there and leave him all by himself? I never thought of that. That's the thing with men. They never think about us. My dear, don't let me stoke your fires, okay? Don't mind me. My goodness. Anyway. It's about time. He'll be back soon, so I need to go prepare something for him to eat. You know, when he comes back, he'll be hungry. So you just relax, all right? I'll be back. Sure, but I don't mind if I join you in the kitchen. <laughs> Sit down, please. Come on. Ruth does not wish to stoke her friend's fire, but she already has. A seed of doubt has been planted in Lizzie's mind about her husband's fidelity. Hi, darling. Hey. How are you doing today? Good. You answer your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah. I'm coming. Let me just change your bread. Baby, I need to meet my friends at the pub. Huh? Yeah. You just came back home yeah. and you want to go out again. Still with me a little. I'm, I'm late already. I'm in a hurry, right? I'll see you soon. Okay. Imagine you were me. You sit home all day and I go to work. And on returning, I run off to go and be with my friends. If you were me, how would you feel? Would you be happy? Not really, but hanging out with the guys and talking football recharges my battery. I don't stay out for too long. One hour, two hours, I'm back. I just feel left out. It's not fair. I've told you to cultivate friendship with Gloria's mother. That way you won't be bored. It's even a good thing your friend Ruth is our neighbor now. Mm -hmm. Does it have to be always? Understand, baby. It helps me to blow up steam. If I don't go, even you will not find me enjoyable. Trust me. Don't worry. Thanks, baby. I'll be back soon, yeah? Thank you. Love you, baby.
grocery shopping, I do this every Saturday. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, how is it? <laughs> He's fine. He's at home. That's good. Do you mind joining me? Uh, nah, maybe not today. I'm a little bit busy today. Maybe next time. Mm, okay, no problems. I'll just go. We'll see you later, right? Okay. All right, cheers. Bye. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Oh, come, come, come. Thank you. Yeah. You can sit down. Thank How are you, you. doing? I'm good. How's your day going? Well, my day is going great you now. Ruth is up to no good. Her interest in John is not a passing one. So, Where's, where's my friend? Oh, she's out. I thought she would have returned by now. Oh, no, she left not too long. So how are you? You want a drink? Oh, um, I, I think it's too early. Come on, don't be ridiculous. It's Saturday. Okay, maybe a little something. Okay, let me get you a drink then. All right. Okay. Bye. Just give me one second, right? Okay. Without knowing it, John is flirting with danger. Ruth is here with adulterous designs on him. A more aware man will notice that she's flaunting her assets. On Saturdays, though. Oh, come on. It's not my father's company, you know. <laughs> so, what do you do? Well, I work at. I don't mean work. Leisure. Oh, that's. Well, I hang out with my friends, hang out with my wife, and that's it, nothing more. I wish I was born a man. I would do so much. There are no limitations this day for women, or like before. Oh, there are. <laughs> How? For example? You can up and marry any woman you want today. She could be 16 and it will be fine. But me, I have to wait for a man to propose. Hmm, I think that's true. If you are honey now, you can satisfy yourself within the hour. <laughs> but me, I can't. You are a realist, I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I heard you were married. Yes, I opted for my sanity than to remain in a union that would slowly kill my brain. How so? Please, that's all in the past now. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, sorry. It's okay. So, two so possibilities. Yeah, possibilities. There is only one possibility on her mind. How to oh. get him into bed. Hmm. So... Tell me, how do you like your women? Hey, pretend I'm a guy for a second. This is between us, you and I. Forget I'm a wise friend. Well, you have seen my wife. So you can tell. You and I know no one gets 100% of everything they want in the mate. <laughs> You're really funny, you know. Usually, if she has a great personality, she'll be too fat. If she has a perfect body, she'll be a troublesome witch. <laughs> oh, I like you. <laughs> Thank you. I like you too. Yeah, well, I like my women slim anyway. That is my point. You wouldn't call Lizzie slim now, would you? I'm comfortable with her size, really. Mm, I hear you. It's... Dear again, another bad seed is being planted. There you go. She wants John to find fault in his wife. So what do you do now, now that you're single? Look for adventure. Adventure? What kind? The good kind. Any kind that will involve having a great time. I'll keep that in mind. Um, it was nice talking to you. Oh, 
Don't tell me you're going now. <laughs> oh, yes. Let me start leaving before my friend comes and thinks I'm uh, trying to snatch her husband away oh, from her. She's not going to think like that. <laughs> She's your friend. <laughs> you never know with women. Mm -hmm. Don't tell her I came out to check up on her to see if she was back, but she wasn't. Well, no problem. I'm going to let her know. But always remember, you're welcome anytime here. All right? Thank you. Okay. That's so nice. See you soon. Okay. Take care of you. Yeah, take care of yourself too as well. She has taken the hook by telling him she's available for whatever. John still does not see any danger. Hold in a second, please. Do you say so? <laughs> you know me. I can read guys. How could I forget? What did you find out? Mm, we talked for a while. I drew him out trying to find out how he feels about you. Really? And? He loves you to death. <laughs> and he will do anything for you. That's comforting. Um, you just have to work on a little something though. What? He misses how you used to look before you got married. But how do I used to look? You were slimmer. And I'm not fat now, come on. Girl, try comparing yourself with the lady in that your wedding photo. You will see the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I added a little. Well, that little can take away from his fantasy. What? Don't, no, no, don't get me wrong, okay? He's not in any way complaining, but I can dictate a hairline crack. Come out, Claire. <sighs> he loves you much, no doubt. I'm saying, register in the gym. <laughs> Burn some fat. A gym? Yes. Get physical. Trim up a little and see if he will hang out with his friend as often as he used to. Ruth is up to no good. It is obvious Please. she's planning a grand scheme. Whatever it will produce will definitely not be beneficial to Lizzie. In fact, it could prove very dangerous. about I think I need to get in better shape I have no problem with that I think I know of a good gym I could register you there thank you but I hope my money is not gonna go to waste because when people make a resolve to get in shape they get passionate about it at first but lose steam after first week second week not me, baby, I promise. <laughs> when do you want to start? I've been ready since yesterday. I will take it there tomorrow. <laughs> After Thank work. You. Thank you, baby. Oh, do you want to 
Olivia. Olha a mãe. Um So Ruth's grand scheme has found success. Lily will be at the gym most of the evening. That will mean John will be home alone and very vulnerable to Ruth's cunning. Pushing numbers forward, exposed on the counter attack against Swanee with a brilliant cross forward ball. Neymar, calm as you like with the control. He got his name on the score. Oh, 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 yeah! Woo! That's my super duper team, man. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> oh, Chester, that is that last. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Chester, that. Don't worry, you need to do. Yeah. myself I'm coming yeah okay. I got for you yeah okay, go ahead <laughs> yeah. alcohol is a wonderful beverage it can unwind people and loosen even the most strongest of inhibitions the plan obviously is to get John drunk and then she can execute her devious intention. Are you kidding me? Who's going to drink this? Don't look at me. I have mine to contend with. This is too much. <laughs> like for real. Lizzie talks about how good a drinker you are. I can't believe you're fish brained. Are you trying to compete? Hell no! It wouldn't be a competition. It will be a massacre. Dude, you can't drink. I don't mm. believe this. Okay, just watch me. <clears throat> You're on. Now drink yours. <laughs> okay. There you go. Alright, I see you game. Uh, we're in for this now. Just like that game, the game I just begun. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least my team beat yours. So you better believe I'll beat you on Let's the side. Yeah, one goes. <laughs> ah. My turn. Your turn. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. 
to get a man's blood boiling, especially a challenge from a woman. John is having none of it. He intends to drown her before sending her flushed body home. But what he fails to realize, however, is that some women are good drinkers. In fact, even better than some men. <laughs> I told you how I used to drink before. <laughs> <laughs> what John fails to understand is that Ruth is only putting on a show of getting drunk. In fact, she is far from that state. The surprise lasted for a second before alcohol dulled his willpower and he succumbed. And so, like a fool, she played John as one would play a musical instrument and got exactly what she set out to get after she sent Lizzie out on a fool's errand to the gym. Baby, why are you not sleeping? It's three in the morning. I don't know. It's been three nights in a row. Something is wrong, obviously. What is it, baby? I told you there's nothing. Seriously. You're really getting me worried. Oh, baby, I'm fine. I told you. Seriously, I'm fine. Come to bed. Come this one sleep. The story is always the same. After the alcohol wears off, it is replaced by regret. John cannot believe he was stupid enough to risk his marriage to a woman he loves as much as life itself. He is having nightmares of what could result from this gross betrayal of his wife. Hey, love. You don't look happy to see me. You are right. I'm not. Why not? What's the problem? You can't be serious. <laughs> oh, I am. What happened to your conscience? I would have a crisis of conscience if I'd killed a person. How about stabbing your friend in the back? 
and sleeping with her husband. You got me drunk and took advantage of me. I'm not complaining, am I? What? Is that how you want to play it now? You think I would do this to my friend if I wasn't drunk? Alright, it was a mistake and it's not going to happen again. What kind of a man are you? I don't get you. I mean, all men cheat. What's the big deal? It's a pretty big deal for me because I have never been unfaithful before. I'm the lady here who should be complaining. I was beginning to like you quite a bit. Don't time. like me. I was going to help you, but you obviously want to remain in your blissful ignorance. I don't want your kind of help. Mm, hold up a minute though. Do you love your wife? I don't have to answer that. I want to help you win her back. What are you talking about now? Mm. She's in love with another man and she's turned between the both of you. She doesn't know what to do. Get out. Hey. Dude, have you even asked yourself why did she register in a gym because she's fat? Search your heart truthfully. Is she fat? She never stopped confiding in me. I know everything. I see through your plan. You are here to destroy my marriage, right? Oh, did I tell you? The other guy is richer and taller. I'm not even talking about height here. And she's hooked. Didn't I tell you to get out? <laughs> you don't have to take my word for it. Follow her to the gym tomorrow. The guy picks her up the minute she gets there and takes her to a quiet hotel where she screams out in pleasure. <laughs> oh, she says the guy is quite an animal. Get out before I knock your head off. <laughs> oh, wow. Thinking about it, it does appear true. Why would Lizzie suddenly pick up interest in exercise when she's not even overweight? Something is definitely not right. to do is pick her up from the gym and take her to the hotel okay okay all right now open the door for her and tell her i'll join her shortly here's the key to the room okay cool yeah okay it's all there Twenty thousand naira easy money what time she usually gets there by four. And once you're done, please return this car. I only had it for two hours. If it stays a minute, a minute longer, you pay the extra charge. No worries, no worries. Yeah. Um, here. Here's a picture. <laughs> She's beautiful. Who knows? Maybe I might. Uh -uh. Don't even start getting any ideas. She's a faithful wife, please. So, when do we see? I miss you. I'll be over by the weekend. Okay? Turn your Bluetooth on. Let me send it to you. Ruth has fallen in love with John and is now out to destroy his marriage. You know I miss you. I just told you I'll be over by the weekend. Hey, girl. Yeah, th this is my second line. Babe, I'm in serious trouble and I need your help, please. 
I'm being held for something I didn't do. And, and only you can bail me out. H hold up, hold up. It's, it's not what I can say on the phone, okay? It's, it's not what I can say on the phone. Can you please come right away, please? Where are you? Okay, okay. I sent someone to fetch you. His name is Ralph. He'll, he'll pick you up at the gym at exactly 4, 4 o'clock, okay? The one thing John can never live with is infidelity. It is the very reason why he has been unable to forgive himself when Ruth tricked him with alcohol. But if Lizzie, his wife, is actually cheating on him, not out of accident like it happened to him, but by deliberate premeditation, then it is unforgivable. Everything Ruth said adds up. John is now certain of it. Lizzie seems too much in a hurry. She obviously can wait to see her boyfriend. I'm ready. I came with my no, car. Don't worry. So I came with my own car. Really? Yes. It's, it's over there. Okay. So let's go, shall we? John cannot believe it. So it is true after all. He's determined to stay true to the end. Everybody has got a twin somewhere. <laughs> no, seriously, really. You don't look familiar, though. I don't believe we've met. Probably. Were you in Ibiu? No. Never been to Zaria in my entire life. I guess I was mistaken for someone then. It's possible. So, what is this about? What? This whole root thing. Oh, okay. Um, I guess it will be better if you get to hate yourself from her.
you doing here? I'm here to see Ruth, my friend. Really? In an hotel? Where is she then? I just got here. She's supposed to be here. She'll be here soon. So this is what you are doing? What are you talking about? Who was that guy you were with? Ruth sent him to come pick me up. Is that right? Where is he then? So that we can ask him. He went downstairs. He went to get drinks. I guess we have to wait for him then. What? Are you insinuating something? I think you have a lot of explaining to do. Don't even go there, John. You are here with your boyfriend. You think I don't know? How can you say that? Well, prove it. Why don't you call Ruth right now? I will never forgive you for this. Quit stalling and call her. Hello? Hello? Hey girl, what's up? There is a situation you need to clarify. Ralph brought me to this hotel where you're supposed to be waiting for me. Can you show up right now? What hotel? The hotel! Come on, you sent Ralph to bring me here. Girl, what are you talking about? You called me on my way to the gym that you were in trouble. I should meet you here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Earlier as in today? Yes. Yes, today. I think you're mistaking me for someone, my dear. What kind of a sick joke is this? Joke? Stop shouting at me. Uh -uh. I didn't call you today. Is it my fault against you? Don't involve me in your schemes, please. I beg you. <gasps> Rubbish. <laughs> I don't even know what's coming for you yet. <laughs> this is set up. That bitch set me up. Please. Oh my god. I can't believe you are lying, cheating slut. I trusted you with all my life. You know what? It's over. We are true. We are in finished between us. Yourself. Please, please, for God's sake, I am innocent. I am innocent. Get out before I will do something I will regret. Get out. Get out. And so, very predictably, John has ended his beautiful marriage to a very faithful wife. Obviously, it's her nature. I don't get it. She has a beautiful husband and a good life. What more could she possibly want? Don't. It's a painkiller that can become addictive in your condition. All you need to recover is a good company. I wonder what I'm going to tell my friends now. Come on. I'm always here. You know what? I'll take this away so that there'll be no madness in this house. <sighs> 
this whole house looks so disorganized. It's like everyone has not been here for a very long time. You know what? I'm just gonna get busy and fix this place up. At least, here's my phone. John still loves Lizzie. He is just very hot and would have taken her back in time. After all, he's guilty of the same crime. But he's wrestling with one nagging thought. It is established by the account of her closest friend of many years that infidelity is engraved deep within her DNA. Such sickness cannot be cured and that makes her untrustworthy. Taking her back will mean getting hot constantly and he cannot take another blow like this one again. And so, Ruth won her way into John's life. John, of course, he's just content in having her as a friend, but no one knows what the future holds. Sorry, please, I've come to set things straight. After destroying my marriage, don't get out of here with me. Your wife is innocent. What do you mean? It was a setup. I was paid by a brother friend to make it look like she was cheating on you. What are you talking about? Look like you. She wants your wife out so she can come and show life. Why should I believe you? Why are you coming to confess? Well, I picked your wife up. I remembered her face. I knew I have seen her somewhere before. It was when I got home. I recalled where I knew her from. You knew my wife? Yes. I hear not Duke's friend. Duke at home. Yes. Duke was my best man. Duke is my cousin. It was in his album that I saw your wedding pictures. I'm sorry for trying to destroy your marriage. Are you serious about this? Why don't you call Ruth over? Let her deny it in my face. How fortunate. She's right here. Come in. Come in. Who is he? <laughs> My cousin happens to be his best man. And I'm sorry, I cannot destroy their marriage for 20,000 naira, not even a million. Honey, who is he and what is he talking about? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. We even dated. You know, bath pictures. This was in her former house before she came here. This was in her bedroom. You wish! You double cross ah! bastard! Ah! Get out of my house! Ah! Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Thank you very much. What's your name? Rob. She has played us from the very beginning. Sit down, sit down. Just sit, just sit down. Hey, dude. Where are you? I am sorry it's not enough. I have put you beyond reason. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Please. It's okay, baby. It's okay. 
have sinned seriously against you in every way. You see, your friend. Your friend is a bad person. She left here threatening brimstone. Yeah, I know her. I've known her to be like that. She has always been a great liar. But I thought age must have changed her. Um, you know that kind of people? The next thing she's going to tell you is that she's been sleeping with your husband. So you better use your wisdom. Oh, I know. That's the kind of thing she's going to say. But I will never have anything to do with her again. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Come back home, baby. And so, Fred used good wisdom to stop his friend from confessing his infidelity and making an already bad situation worse, thereby spoiling the sweet moment. There are certain things better left unsaid so that healing can take place. And so the marriage that was once on the brink of extinction was revived again.